Hello students, uh, good day to all. Uh, I have gone through your uh, answer sheet uh, regarding the question, the block diagram of uh, instrumentation system. Most of the students uh, are written in a very complicated way and block diagram is so complicated. So I am trying to give this a, a very lighter way of uh, understanding the block diagram of uh, this uh, uh, instrumentation system. This is a sure question for your uh, K2 as well. Uh, let me share the PPT. <clears throat> okay, fine. Uh, so, yeah, this is a block uh, instrument. In, uh, so, I hope you can see in this one. So, elements of the Lens measurement system, uh, that is a block data, you, you will be getting that question in you know, university question, university uh, K2 question. So, uh, what is an instrument? Uh, instrument means it's a measurement measurement system. So, uh, scientists, engineers, and other humans use vast range of instruments from perform their instruments like uh, rulers, stopwatches, electron microscope, multimeter, CRO, fax, mobile phone, PC, multimeter, so a lot of equipment already you familiarize all those things within the lab and this is a block diagram you must use for your examination this is very simple block diagram this is quantity to be measured it can be pressure temperature or light intensity etc that is physical quantity this is physical quantity that is to be measured and followed by primary sensing element then variable conversion element then variable manipulation element data transmission element and data presentation and, and controlling okay so this is a block data you must use for your examination the other one is uh, somewhat complicated this is very simple and easy to understand okay so the functional elements in a measurement system are primary sensing element variable conversion element variable manipulation element and there is one signal condition element that will remove the noise from the these uh, parts so data transmission element and data presentation element these are self explanatory but the primary sensing element is always that is in contact with the quantity to be measured okay for example we have to measure the temperature pressure light intensity so what we are going to use is a transducer we will use a transducer transducer means it converts the physical quantity into electrical quantity for some examples are microphone so Microphone is in a, a transducer because it's sound signal. Sound is a physical quantity to electrical signal. Thermistor, temperature into change in resistance. So temperature changes, uh, then the resistance associated with it changes. So photodiode, photodiode means light intensity is converted into current, light to current, okay? So variable conversion, next block, block is variable conversion element. So the output of sensing element may be any kind. So it can be voltage, frequency, pressure, light, etc. Okay. So that will be the uh, variable conversion. Uh, that will be the sensing element output, right? So, <clears throat> so it is necessary to convert output signal from the sensor to some other suitable form while preserving the information content is original form. One example is so most of the things nowadays are digital in nature. So we are getting the data from the primary sensing element is analog. So first we have to convert into digital analog on a digital form. That is by a analog to digital converter. So some, sometimes we are getting displacement. For example, this is a water tank. This is full. This red side is full. So we are changing this one. So it is moving like this. This pistol is moving. Suppose this pistol is connected to a potentiometer. So the potentiometer uh, resistor changes. Okay. So display. So we can change the voltage here also. So LVDT, the linear variable differential transducer. But you understand only LVDT displacement into voltage strain gauge. So the pressure, the strain applied to a surface, it is uh, uh, converted into a change in resistance. Resistance is a part of circuit diagram. So the voltage can be changed. So this is called a variable conversion element. So uh, it is uh, uh, keeping the preserving the information content in the original form, but in another, uh, this is can be in a digital form. So displacement in to voltage, 
or pressure, strain into uh, resistance change, finally the current change or voltage change, etc. And finally the variable manipulation element. So uh, the variable manipulation may change the numerical value of the signal while preserving the origin. The, uh, you understand the difference between the other one and the variable manipulation element. It's a numerical value. Amplification is the best example. Amplification means so 1 volt peak to peak it's converted into 10 volt peak to peak. This is amplification. 1 millivolt peak to peak is 100 millivolt peak to peak. So the uh, frequency remains the same, the shape remains the same. So numerical value, uh, uh, the numerical value of the signal while preserving the original nature of the signal. Okay. Another example is ITV converter. So for example, photodiode, uh, when light intensity falls, so it is first converted into uh, current. The output of photodiode is current. So in order to processing uh, the current, we will convert into uh, voltage. That is ITV converter. Trans impedance amplifier is the best example. And finally, signal condition element means uh, remove the distortion or noise from the transistor and manipulation stages. So modulation is one of the method. Integration, filtering, clipping are the methods. And finally, data transmission element. So many situations, some sometimes the uh, this is a sensing element, and the receiver element is far distance from the sensing element. That time we have to transmit the data we achieve to a remote remote place. Okay, uh, so we can use local area network, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or high-speed OFC cable, etc. So that is the transmission data transmission for uh, the receiver side, the monitoring end. Okay. And finally, the data presentation element. So what is the data we, uh, primary sensing element is uh, measuring the pressure, temperature, light intensity, etc. So finally, we have to watch, we have to go through what they sensed, the temperature change, the pressure change, etc. So this is a monitoring session. The function of data presentation element is to convey the information about the quantity under measurement. That is primary sensing element to a personal handling instrument system monitoring control analysis and further processing etc so it can be a meter voltmeter it's a chart high speed camera tv crt that is on a cathodic oscilloscope we are seeing the voltage or current printers digital computers anything we can be used so this is a simple explanation of uh, this uh, the block diagram of uh, the instrumentation system this can be used for your uh, answering uh, while answering the uh, question comes in KTU, uh, KTU uh, University examination. Thank you. Thank you so much.